My name is Leila Allison. I was born and raised in Bosnia, a country torn with war and just pure devastation. As an 11-year-old child, I was exposed to so many things that no child should ever see. The snipers, the landmines, I was just terrified to step my foot out that door. I did not know whether that might be the last step I ever make. All the borders around Bosnia were closed and no humanitarian aid could come in. And that's when the country hit its bottom. There was no food coming from anywhere. Being hungry is something that you can't put in words. The painful hunger. My mom made me go to school. I begged her not to make me go to school because I did not have a decent pair of shoes. I had a old torn sneakers. My dad had used some wire and he shut them back together, but cold and wet would still squeeze through the holes that my dad didn't manage to shut. I went off to school and I was very angry. I, uh, I had made up my mind that perhaps that day I will not come back home. After uh, about an hour or so walking, I got there and uh, the kids said that they're giving these boxes out and I should go in and get one too. So I went in and uh, the man said to come over and uh, he handed me this decorated shoe box. I tore that lid open and laying on the bottom were brand new white sneakers. Out of all the things in this world, I got shoes. I went over and I asked the man who gave me a shoebox, who sent this to me, and he told me that Jesus is God's only son. He came to this world to die for me, to show his love for me. That was the day I accepted the Lord, Jesus Christ as the Savior of my life. And today, proudly, I can say that it's because of Lord Jesus in that shoebox that I'm a Christian and I go to heaven. Here's some eraser. I just can't thank him enough for giving me that chance. I can't thank him enough for finding me all the way in Bosnia. He loved me and he showed me that. And then he took me back in the United States and he said, but I love you more. Now you get the pack some. And now my children are the ones that get the packet. It's just like I thank Lord over and over. Not only did I receive that shoebox as an 11-year-old girl, 15 years later, I'm in the area I grew up and I get to deliver the same shoeboxes. Thank you for sending my shoebox. Thank you for introducing me to Jesus. May God bless you for what you're doing. And please keep continue to do what you do. You're changing the lives forever. And you're changing them for Jesus Christ.